I accepted Christ into my heart um, as a small child. I remember um, it's, it's one of those early childhood memories that, you know, is just fresh in my mind. But uh, I was in the backyard in the sandbox and I prayed the prayer that he would come into my heart. And he has been in my heart. And, you know, regardless of good, good events, Bad, you know, challenging events. He always showed his face to me, and I didn't always see it back then. But now, as I'm older and I can look back at that, I saw that he was present in my life, and I see I'm more amazed every day of his presence and his guidance in my life. And he's put, um, you know, some really influential people in my life. He's placed me uh, where I can do his work and I see so much of his love around me and so many um, amazing examples of him, of Christ around me that um, I don't wanna be quiet anymore. I don't wanna be uh, private about it anymore. I wanna be confident in living my life for Jesus. I wanna be on that path where I know he's guiding me and I have felt that more in my life, and um, that is the reason why I want to get baptized. Well, Emily, it's a uh, powerful testimony from the uh, sandbox as a little child to living loudly for Jesus Christ. We uh, stand with you today and celebrate your baptism in the grace of Christ in your life. Baptism is a, a picture of new life in Christ. As followers of Christ identify with him through faith, we're dead to sin, and we rise to new life through the power of the Spirit. And baptism gives us a powerful testimony in that way. And so, Emily, what is your confession of faith this day? Jesus Christ is totally Lord of my life. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And so, on the basis of your... Love for Jesus Christ and your confession that he is Lord in your life. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.